So we got snow again. It's Friday morning, about eight o'clock. Got about two inches. This stuff is a little more powdery. Supposed to get up into the mid 40s today. I know it seems like rinse and repeat, always snow coverage. This is storm number six for the season. Six snowstorms, it's crazy. Look at this bunny tracks. Bunch of chipmunks out here this morning. Scout's already been chasing them. She just chased her first chipmunk this morning. She's loving it. You might have a slimy on you there, girl. You might have a little something there on you. <laughs> Frozen slime boogie. Scout, look at you. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Today is the day. I'm finally gonna finish the battery installation gonna install those five power queen batteries and get them all hooked up and running and hooked up to the multi plus inverter and all my new wiring put in I can't wait here it is this is my new battery now that I have the bus bars on there this is one giant battery so here I'll slide it out so let me pop these ends off those are on there for safety so that's the whole thing. You might be wondering why one end's a little bit longer than the other. It's because these two bars are the exact same length. And because of the offset of the way they make these batteries, one side's gonna stick off a little bit farther. So I decided to make that the negative. Scout's here to give her approval. What do you think? What do you think, baby? Now I'm gonna make a, like a big box that covers over the whole thing. Hey guys, what are you doing back there? You look very concerned. They've been relegated back to the bedroom because it's a big day today. You can probably see me in the mirror. Hi everybody. <laughs> so I've got the battery down here mounted. Now that all, four, all five batteries are put together, this is one giant battery. And I've ran my lines in and I ran them through three quarter inch PVC so there's no chance that uh, this can ever get marred or anything get into the coating. Um, I don't have it hooked up right now but it's going to basically come over like that, like this. And the same thing on the negative. These so, come through uh, almost airtight. And I've already got the other ends on. Also now I've got the insulation board down. I have my two heating pads that I made that ha that are stuck to the aluminum and I have two layers of insulation board behind it. So honestly, it's probably never going to get cold enough to need these heating pads, but they are there if I do need them. Um, it also allows, uh, you know, if you were going to potentially store this in a really cold situation, you could have the batteries keep themselves warm. But anyway. Better to have it there and not need it than to need it and not have it. So now all the rest of the work's gonna be outside. All right, I've got it all done. I'll show you what it is, what's going on in here. Here's my, here's my fuse. It turns out it's a 300 amp fuse, not a 400. The switch, everything's hooked up. All the sensors for the MultiPlus, MultiPlus hooked up. One of the AC lines was just a tiny bit tight so I took out the fitting um, that's gonna be fine got all the everything over here all tidied up 
looks good. Now next I'm going to make a mount that goes across here that keeps this battery in place and then I'll have a place to, to store things too. I'll make like a wooden box that goes there. Okay everybody, I've got this uh, completely hooked up. Turn the battery switch on, everything works. Yay. So now I just have to program the MultiPlus and program my solar for the lithium. <laughs> So we've got 500 amp hours here. It's uh, all hooked up. Um, it's quite secure. Um, it's not going anywhere. Got a box that I'm still gonna build to go around it. Got heaters underneath it. Um, someone has been ignored all day and she was refusing to leave the shot, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Scott, what do you think? <laughs> okay, now Look we can that. come. Look at that, pro. Now I don't understand all this stuff because I'm just a girl. I guess we'll have to cut that out because it's sexist. Whatever. You, you can put it in. <laughs> it looks professional to me. I don't understand all of it, but. It is professional. Okay, come on. So, day one of running our new batteries, and I am charging them for the first time. We had a cloudy day all day, so we didn't bring in very much solar. Not enough to actually charge. It just kind of uh, kept us from losing as much power. After the whole night last night and all day today, this thing only got down to 13.0 and that was with the inverter on, so that's under a load. We only used 50%, we only got down, we only drained the power down to 50% with all night and all day and now I'm charging it for the first time. I've turned on the generator and I've set it up to charge at 40 amps. So right now we're bulk charging at 39.3 amps and it's already gone up from 13.0 up to 13.24 so. <laughs> so excited to be done this entire project is done it's been f like four years in the making thank you so much power queen uh, thank you for giving us the two batteries to try out. We liked them so much without even trying them that we decided to buy three more. And now we have five, 500 amp hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And please stay tuned. There'll be many more videos to come. And please give us a thumbs up and a like and share and subscribe if you can. Thank you. I want. When I first hooked up the MultiPlus and was adjusting the settings. I didn't realize it, but it was set at 115 amps. And it, every time we start the generator, it was charging these at 115 amps and it was just a little bit too much. It was starting to overheat the MultiPlus. But it's amazing that it'll, it'll do that. If you're interested in buying Power Queen batteries, be sure to use the link in the description.